my fellow Americans, and the people who brought me the dance, Delawareans. I see my buddy, Tom, Senator Tom Carper down there, and I think, I think Senator Coons is there, and I think the governor's around. And, is that Ruth Ann? And that former Governor Ruth Ann Minner. Most importantly, my sisters-in-law and my sister Valerie. Anyway. <laughs> Folks, the people of this nation have spoken. They've delivered us a clear victory, a convincing victory, a victory for we, the people. We've won with the most votes ever cast on presidential ticket in the history of the nation. 74 million. What I must admit has surprised me. Tonight, we're seeing all over this nation, all cities and all parts of the country, indeed across the world, an outpouring of joy, of hope, renewed faith, and tomorrow, bring a better day. And I'm humbled by the trust and confidence you placed in me. I pledge to be a president who seeks not to divide, but unify, who, who doesn't see red states and blue states, only sees the United States. And work with all my heart, with the confidence of the whole people, to win the confidence of all of you. And for that is what America, I believe, is about. It's about people, and that's what our administration will be all about. I sought this office to restore the soul of America, to rebuild the backbone of this nation, the middle class, and to make America respected around the world again, and to unite us here at home. It's the honor of my lifetime that so many millions of Americans have voted for that vision. And now, the work of making that vision is real. It's a task, the task, of our time. Folks, as I said many times before, I'm Jill's husband. And I would not be here without her love and tireless support of Jill and my son, Hunter, and Ashley, my daughter, and all our grandchildren, and their spouses, and all our family. They're my heart. Jill's a mom, a military mom, an educator, and she has dedicated her life to education. But teaching isn't just what she does, it's who she is. For American educators, this is a great day for you all. You're going to have one of your own in the White House. And Jill's going to make a great first lady. I'm so proud of her. And I'll have the honor of serving with the fantastic vice president who you just heard from, Kamala Harris, who makes history as the first woman, first black woman, the first woman from South Asian descent, the first daughter of an immigrant ever elected in this country. Don't tell me it's not possible in the United States. It's long overdue. And we're reminded tonight of those who fought so hard for so many years to make this happen. But once again, America has bent the arc of the moral universe more toward justice. Kamala, Doug, like it or not, your family, you become an honorary Biden, there's no way out. To all those of you who volunteered and worked the polls in the middle of this pandemic, local elected officials, you deserve a special thanks from the entire nation.